It's almost 5 p.m. in Brooklyn, and the public library is about to get an unusual visitor. And you're doing an event here called the Superheroes event. Are you the superhero in this situation? I don't know. I don't think I'm quite the superhero. You know, the kids are really Is there a cape back there? Or? Nah, I got a hood. Okay. okay. All right, well, it's close. All right, well, let's go check it out. We'll see how much of a superhero you really are. Sean Livingston is not quite a superhero, but he's been one of the few bright spots this season for the struggling Brooklyn Nets. And as he attended a few recent events around town, he brought us along for the ride to see just how far he's come. I figured you actually may be the league's best expert on NBA cities since you have played in about a third of them. I have. Can you, can you even do it? Can you rattle off all your stops in order? I can try. All right, let me but this is a test. Even me, I might, I might fail. All right, um, we'll start in LA, from LA to Miami. Yep. Miami to Oklahoma City. Mm hmm. Oklahoma City to Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. For the first time. For the first time. <laughs> wow. D.C. to Charlotte, Charlotte to Milwaukee, Milwaukee to Houston mm -hmm. for training camp. Then back to D.C., then from D.C. to Cleveland, and Cleveland to Brooklyn. There we go. Right. <laughs> right. That laundry list was far from the future Livingston imagined back in 2004 when he passed up a scholarship to Duke to become the number four overall pick in the NBA draft. But injuries riddled his first two seasons with the Clippers. And then, midway through his third year. Steal by Livingston, that's a good defense by Mobley. No finish, though, by Sean. Now, everything changed for you when you hurt your knee in February. Have you seen it? I still haven't watched it. Still haven't watched a video. February 2007, that's a long time ago. You haven't seen the video at all? Have not watched it one time. I mean, it's, you know, there's been clips to where, you know, like it'll, it'll pop up, uh, reading an article, you know, and it'll like automatically play. Right. And then I just, I just switch it, you know, I switch the page. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, you know. I had, I had injured my, my knee before, uh, dislocated my right kneecap, so, you know, I kind of thought of it as being, you know, a reoccurring situation. What, what did they tell you? What was the worst case scenario when they did finally come in and the doctors delivered the news? And they explained to me that there was an artery in the back of your knee, you know, that's the major blood supply for the lower leg. And if that artery was torn, there's a possibility gangrene could set in and, uh, you know, they would have to you know, possibly amputate, amputate the leg. So I was shocked. <laughs> Everything stops. Everything stops. It's like, you know, and it's just the shock of, the shock of hearing the news, you know. I mean, I was just on the court playing. I was just on the court, you know, running my team, you know, playing the game that I love to play. I mean, it just, it wasn't a real, it wasn't reality, you know. It was kind of like I was in a nightmare. Surgery revealed the artery was strong enough to let Livingston keep his leg but his knee was decimated. His ACL, MCL, PCL, and meniscus were all torn. His kneecap and shin bones were dislocated. I'm sitting there looking at my knee. My knee is, dis you know, it's kind of like deformed. As a player, like, I felt like I had all these great expectations, you know, for myself and mm -hmm. all the expectations everybody else had for me. And, uh, you know, just starting from the bottom, like, you know, from the basement. It was just, you know, I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was tough to deal with that, especially at 21. As the following months inched by, Livingston slowly relearned to walk, then run. It took more than a year, but by the summer of 2008, he felt ready to play basketball again. The NBA wasn't so sure. Well, that's when I really learned the, the business of basketball, going on 10-day contracts, going down to the D-League just to, you know, just to play again and, uh, let NBA teams see, you know, oh, he can run up and down the court. He does have, you know, somewhat of his athleticism back. He, that, was, that was the hardest part. Livingston's stint in Washington finally reestablished him as an NBA caliber player. By the time the Nets signed him this past July, he felt his knee was close to 100%. Oh, a rock Sean Livingston! And now he seems firmly entrenched in Brooklyn, both on the court and off it. Can you just make some noise if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan one time? Make some noise. Recently, he was the player chosen to light the city's Christmas tree. It means a lot. It means a lot just in everything I've been through, um, knowing, you know, where I came from, and then, you know, just to have the opportunity to share this with a, a community, you know, and then also be here to represent my team, you know, in the NBA. Uh, at that, it's, it means a lot. 